Hello again. Yeah, here I am. Izzy from Digital Goja Showrooms. And today we're not going to take a look at all this stuff. We're actually going to take a look at something to take all this stuff in. This is the new Altura Photo Great Explorer Backpack. If this video helps you out, please hit us up with a like button underneath. And remember to subscribe to our channel for future unboxings, tutorials, and sessions such as this. And don't forget, when in Miami, visit Digital Goja Showrooms. Well, here we go, Altura did it again. So here comes the new Altura Photo Great Explorer. This guy seems to be their best bag so far. It's huge. This guy has an exterior dimensions of 13 inches in width, 18 inches in height, and 7.1 inches in depth. Plus the interior is 12 and a half by 5.5 by 17. What I'm saying is this guy is gigantic. This is gonna hold all your equipment. Still has that signature accent of the violet and there's the logo for Altura Photo. This is a weather resistant nylon. It's reinforced stitching. Notice how they even did reinforced stitching on the handle here. So it gives you a nice grip, but it's nice and soft. So it doesn't tend to hurt after a while, but they did a nice stitching job there. All around the back, here's some more accents. You also have the 3D padded breathing airflow back system so that it doesn't hurt your back when you're carrying lots of equipment. And believe me, you can take a lot of equipment here. Notice you have your D-rings and you have your clips so that you can lock this. And you have a side pocket. Here's a nice big side pocket here. And notice this, very important. Yep, and they did it in their, again, their signature color. You actually have the capability of taking a tripod with you. Wow, what a nice feature, I like that. And notice on the bottom here, you have the padding so that in case you have to put this down in a hurry, it gives you added protection down here. You have the sternum and padded waist strap support and contoured and adjustable shoulder straps. And you have the capability of adjusting them here. I have another side pocket here, so if you want to put maybe some memory cards so you can access it in a hurry, or if you have a notebook, something else, you can place that in there. And here we have yet another compartment. Look at that. You have more extra pockets in here, so you can put lens pens and fluid cleaner. You have yet another larger area, so you might be able to fit other accessories in here, like cables and whatnot. And if you do get caught in a rainstorm, well, guess what? They gave you a nice rain cover that goes around the entire backpack. And there it is where their Altura Photo logo, and this will cover the entire backpack in case of a huge downpour. So they actually did a lot of research in putting this guy together, and they listened to us for what needs us photographers and videographers were asking for. We even have a small area here for any of us that want to walk around with headphones. You can actually feed your head earbuds through there. You have a mesh on the side, so you can fit your water bottle if you're out for a long day. And you can even clip some more accessories here. So, wow, you can carry a lot of equipment. Now let's get to the back area for storage. Yeah, this guy opens from the rear, which is a nice design because that way when you're wearing it, you don't have the capability of somebody sneaking up and opening up and removing equipment. And lo and behold, look at this area. Plus, guess what? Right here you can store a 13 inch laptop or MacBook Pro or even one of those newer high resolution, larger iPads and tablets that are on the market now. Notice this design, which is great because that way if I stand this up, stuff doesn't go flying out. That's a great idea to put this little mesh in here. Open it up. Very well padded. The padding, here's one that I removed because I had to fit some extra equipment in here. Has a good padding, very well defined Velcro, so they did a nice job with that. And notice how you have plenty of room. I have one body here, a full frame 6D with my favorite 24 to 105. I have a 70D over here in the corner for video. I have my Tamron 
macro. Over here in the corner I have a little LED light so that you can do videos. But for stills, I brought around my flash. There's my Altura flash. I have a nice super wide angle from Sigma. And here in the corner, if I need some really beautiful bokeh, I put my 50 millimeter 1.2. And of course, never leave home without it. My tried and true 70 to 200 2.8. And notice how this all fits in here. So I have two bodies, one, two, three, four, five lenses. You can rearrange this how you prefer, depending if you want to take less bodies, you're going to take more lenses or another strobe. Gives you plenty of work room here. And notice how the zippers close easily. And you're set to go. Oh, let's show you how to put the tripod on here because I know there's still some of us that use tripods. I still believe in it. Have a little area down here. Pull this out and there's your hidden pocket for the tripod. So the way it's made, you place two legs in here. And this is my Manfrotto 190 Go. This is my travel tripod that I like. And now you have a clip section up here. Send that out and clip it, tighten it to make sure that it's nice and tight. And there you go. Now you have your favorite tripod with you on the go. All right, so now we're going to take a look at the front pocket, which is meant for small tablets. Here I have a very ruggedized iPad. This is the standard size, not the mini. And notice how this pocket has the Velcro holder also so that you can go ahead and slide the iPad in there and it's nice and secure so you can take it with you for a full day of imaging and you have full connectivity. So now we're going to take a look at the notebook storage area of the Altura Explorer backpack. It's meant for about 9 inches so that means anything at a 13 inch diagonal maybe a little bit more will fit in here. If you're not sure get a hold of your notebook and make sure that it doesn't expand more than nine inches. If it's wider than nine inches you won't be able to fit in here. So here we have a Dell XPS series. This is a 13.3 inch very popular laptop. Fits nice and snug in here and again you have your velcro liner so it holds it with the tab in place. You can close it up nice and secure. Now let's try something a little bit larger. Here we have the Surface Book. It's a little bit larger but look we have the elastic here opens up and allows you to store it properly also. Now here I have something which I have one there's a lot of us that have this size. This is a HP 17.3 inch it's not going to work. This is way wider than 9 inches. It's 11 and a half inches. That's not going to fit in here. So this guy stays at home. This is not the guy that you're going to take with you when you go traveling with your Altura Photo Explorer backpack. Let's take a look and see how easy this is to wear. All right, so like I showed you before, this guy is very simple to work with. I have it pre-adjusted for my size and height. I'm a big guy. so. But believe me, it, it fits every body size. But notice how easily it is to put on. And remember, I have this guy loaded up with a bunch of gear. So it's, it's honestly meant for every type of photographer and videographer out there. It's just that right now I have a lot of gear in here. Notice how I have the waist adjusted to the maximum because I'm a big guy. Let's use that word. Here I have it adjusted for the lumbar and remember you can move this up and down depending on your body size and height so that it doesn't choke on you. But this allows it to hold it perfectly up and then I have the ones that I can pull for the load so that it doesn't, isn't lower on my back, it rides up. So that way it gives me nice secure connection. Again, very easy to work with, very comfortable. But again, large fellow, let's try somebody a little bit normal size. I have my lovely assistant, Adam, here. He's going to come and help us. Adam, how's it going? 
So yeah. now Adam is going to try the same backpack, but for his body weight and size. Notice how easy it is to put on. And he's going to adjust the waist. Notice how that's adjustable for a normal size person. So you can actually pull on it and expand it or put it as tight as you need. And then you have, so you can pull up on the back and it doesn't ride down on your lumbar. And here you also adjust this and then you can pull on the straps here for the load adjustment and you can pull it up so it's nice and secure. There you go. And locks it in place. Notice how comfortable that is. So it's easy to work with and easy to carry all your gear. And again, it's meant for different body sizes. We have normal and Abbey normal. So again, if you're in the market for a nice new backpack where you can take all your gear with you, take a closer look at the Altura Photo Explorer backpack. Happy shooting.